Ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto is busy touring the country, launching last mile connectivity, according to him, as a way of connecting hustlers to the grid. There's no problem with that. He's busy connecting Mamamboga to electricity on stage managed marketing videos. I have no problem with that. They say, Kuza sio kazi, kazi ni kulea. Buying a car is not where the problem is. Maintaining that car on a daily basis. Take it to car wash. You fuel it daily. Take it to the service. That, in case it, 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 it gets involved in an accident, you need to paint it. You need to. That's where the problem lies. Cash to buy a car is not an issue. People have money. You can purchase a car. Even second hand at 150,000, at 250. A new one at 10 million, 30 million. But after you've bought this car, how are you going to maintain it? William Ruto connecting people to electricity is not a problem to me. See or shida, because connection is what happens once. Kimaisha. You do it once, pass. Milele. The problem is how will the Mama Mboga service tokens? How will the Mama Mboga maintain the tokens? Now that the cost of electricity keeps rising each and every time, the, the, the families have seen him stage managing. Some of them are poor families. In fact, even affording three meals a day is a problem. So the question remains, in these families, how are they going to sustain the supply? Today, Oprah has announced another electricity spike, which is going to see fuel rising, it's wrong to see tokens going high and the forex costs. Kenya households and businesses, as we speak, as much as Ruto is busy connecting Mamamboga in the villages, but let's also remember, as he's busy connecting that electricity, he is also busy in Nairobi increasing their maintenance, their servicing. Is busy increasing tokens. Vile muna muona na kimbia nyeri, kirinyaga, kisi, wapi. You got every day. What is he doing? Ruta meada sasa kupana dege. He is no longer interested in flying outside Kenya. He is now interested in walking around Kenya. The third month now, Ruto is caged. He's never moved out of this republic. Uwoga tubu. Sasa... He is busy launching electricity. He is busy connecting people to electricity. But again, he is busy in Nairobi increasing the cost of that electricity. Mukara you. The increase has been pushed up by 1.5%. What does this mean? The increase, according to the report from EPRA, is driven by the escalating fuel energy costs and the foreign exchange fluctuations, EPRA has indicated that consumers will now pay 348 Kenyan shillings per kilowatt up from 325 Is it in terms of cents? I've seen they have indicated cents. 348 cents per kilowatt up from 325 per kilowatt in July. 
the adjustment has already been gazetted in a gazette noted dated 9th July 2024, that is yesterday, and it has spiked concern and protest from consumers. April's review is attributed to the significant rise in the fuel energy cost charge, which has jumped to 3.48 shillings per unit from 3.25 per unit. Additionally, the foreign exchange rate fluctuation adjustment has increased from 0 0.98 per unit to 1.17 per unit. Last month, a domestic consumer using 60 units of electricity paid 1807 and 92 cents with the new tariffs the figure is expected to rise Empress director general daniel kipto in the gazette notice said that the adjustments are necessary to reflect the changing cost of fuel and the forex which significantly impact the overall cost of electricity production he said in a statement all prices of electrical energy specified in part two of the schedule of tariffs 2023 will be liable to a fuel energy cost charge of plus 348 Kenyan cents per kilowatt for all meters readings to be taken in the August 2024. This latest hike follows a reduction in power bills that were announced in April by the Kenya Power which was intended to provide relief to the consumers. Ladies and gentlemen, There's something I want you to understand here. That yes, connecting people to the grid, to me, is not an issue. All of you can be connected to electricity. But, will one manage to pay for the rising cost of tokens? Will the mama mboga manage to pay for tokens? That is the biggest question. Ruto is lying to you on top of vehicles that is connecting people to the grid. But back of his mind, Yanajua, the more he connects you to the grid, the more he collects more tax. Mutuangu, ni sabu. It is mathematics. Don't think these things are done just for excitement. Ni sabu imepiwa. As a business person, when you want to make more profits, you increase the cost of products as you make more customers. The more customers come, the more profit you collect. So, Ruto is supplying electricity to more villagers for free. As he does that for free, he is calculating that who you um to atanza kulipa tokens? And then that, I'll be collecting tax from tokens. Ni hesabu imepiwa, na hata uwezi elewa, if you are ignorant. God bless you. See you in the next video. Asante ni sana.